Hello, my beautiful air signs. Welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, this is for September 9th, 2022. We are going full direct Mercury retrograde in Libra. In the sign of Libra, air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Get on up in here and let's see what the energy is for this Mercury retrograde. We go full blown. Uh, we will be in this retrograde until October 16th and then go into the full shadows of Mercury retrograde. Okay, so for my air signs on um, Libra specifically, um, this is um, very uh, amazing for you. This is an amazing time. Um, a lot of big changes are happening for you guys. Um, a lot of transformations um, that's going in your favor, um, your abundance, your overall livelihoods is, are about to upgrade. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, we do have the cherry here while this card has been showing up for you guys. Forward movement. Yeah, page of coins. Yeah, this is a pre-shuffle. Yeah, so something you guys are going to be expecting there's some money on the way for some of you guys right or definitely an offer um, that's coming towards you guys you guys are going to get this news about maybe a a pay a, a pay a great a pay uh, upgrading your pay listen you this is how you know you're a retrograde because you can't even get the words out okay <laughs> you can't even get the words out right so yeah this is um this is a really good news really really good news give me more for air signs libra gemini's aquarius you guys make sure to hit the like share subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video as well okay libra gemini aquarius someone rising venus north node Oof. Oof. yeah look at y'all Come on, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Coins. Yes, yeah, so you guys are about to go into your full abundance. Like I said, there it is, Ace of Coins. Damn. Ooh, Hermit, and when this come in, you about to go ghost. <laughs> Virgo energy, you guys is about to go ghost. You about to collect your coin and go ghost. <laughs> I know that's right, air signs. Listen, yes. Three of cups, yeah, celebration of some sort, right? You're getting you're seeing things from a whole new perspective that you are some person that's in your energy. Yeah, that's um doing some deep introspect here. This could be your energy, could be someone around you. But listen, but uh, or this could be sending in someone into deep um uh hermit mode um to go to get some inner clarity okay especially when it comes to some type of celebration or coming into union to celebrate with someone yeah third party energy is here uh by the way right yeah what is it the star according to energy i love how you guys show up in your reading period you guys listen you guys got money on the way Listen, the chariot, page of coins, queen of coins to the ace of coins. <laughs> Air signs. You better, right? This could also too be um gonna and listen with the star card being here. This could also um take you towards fame, but also that's for some of y'all, not all of y'all, okay? But you know, some recognition. But this is also something that you've wished for. This is also the ultimate wish fulfillment. You're gonna be celebrating, right? Yeah, three of wands, and some of y'all are gonna start traveling. Woo, or somebody's gonna travel towards y'all. Listen, someone who wants to come into celebration with you after being in the hermit mode is planning to uh, travel towards you. The star, star energy here. Yep. Mm, Aquarian energy. Listen, give me a bottom row because, you know, we at Real Love Tarot is very nosy and we got to know everything that's going on. Yes. Somebody had mentioned in one of the comments, um, and um, <laughs> I deleted it because I don't give a shit. So it was just like, oh, you're talking to adults, and that baby talk and that baby tone that you do is not uh, appealing. This, these are adults. Listen, if you don't like my energy or my spirit, move your ass on. Don't be on my channel talking shit. Okay, don't tell me how to talk or how to be or how to express my love if I'm talking in this type of way. It's because that's my energy. 
If you don't like it, you don't have to be here. I just had to throw that out because that annoyed my soul, right? And it's just like you're entitled to your opinion, but that's one of you want me to be what you want me to be versus who I am. And I will never be what you want me to be. You don't know me from a wet can of paint. Bye. Okay, got that off my chest, Aries signs. Let's go. Yeah, ten of wands. Yeah, because somebody is in a is in uh in uh it's it's a heavy burden for someone to carry, right? Mm, being in this hermit mode. Yeah, seeing you um oof, seeing you in your nine of pentacles. It's a heavy burden for someone. Yes, baby, they don't like it. So someone is is really um uh, irritated. Um, by um, the options that you have, seven of cups, right? The um, the abundance that you have, the abundance that you're coming into. This is a burden for someone in your energy, believe it or not. Yeah, Virgo energy, hermit mode could be dealing with the Virgo. Don't have to be. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have the sun and four of pentacles. You make someone very, very happy though, right? very uh four of pentacles here okay and th something is about to be illuminated about your stability yes with the sun card being here i'm going to set it right over there um but the sun is the happiest card in the deck so whoever is in your energy it could be leo okay uh could be a leo don't have to be or someone with leo in their chart either you or them Take it out resonates, but someone sees you very abundant, having many options or whatever, and very stable, very uh, loving with the sun card being here. You know, the sun is the happiest uh, card in the deck, right? And you are into, you're, you're definitely coming into your material harvest. The sun energy, you, whatever you guys are doing is bringing you some type of beautiful outcome and is making you very successful very much abundant queen of pentacles ace of pentacles i mean it's it says coins here but i know for most of you guys you re relate to pentacles so that's fine that's why i say pentacles yeah and and this is a pain and this is painful for someone to watch you be in this um energy right mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, and in your spirit, and and in your spiritual, and having these spiritual awakenings, it's it's very painful for someone to be in this energy, right? Yeah, and they're having a tower moment behind the scenes. Yeah, wow. Something is going to be illuminated about someone having a painful ending, some type of spiritual awakening, right? That's a catapulting you, catapulting you for to change in a really good way but for others um that's in your energy is bringing a tower moment for them believe that or not yeah ada source energy very much stuck in their head yes yes and um they they really do hate this for you off the top yeah because they feel left uh left out in the cold five of pentacles this is something that they wanted to keep you when they wanted to keep you in this ada uh ada source energy wanting you to feel unloved unwanted unworthy right and i wanted this for you but uh, unfortunately they're the ones who's having it yeah Yes, indeed. But you know, Auntie Nay is going to clarify all of these cards. This is past, present, or future energy. But mostly present energy is what I feel here. Because this is coming towards you fast. Chariot card is here. Cancerian energy could be a cancer you're dealing with. You got cancer in your chart. Don't have to. But listen, something is coming towards you. This is forward movement towards your money. Yeah forward movement towards your abundance yeah queen of pentacles ace of pentacles something you invested in or some or someone wants to invest in you yes look on the bottom of the deck is the two of cups yeah the chariot love is on the way towards you this has somebody in whoo we let me tell you something a higher friend is here too and and this is some as your spirit guides causing chaos and mayhem for somebody yes Chaos and mayhem, some of your spirit guide. Listen, the higher fun is also spirit. This is how I read my cards as well. Yep. They they are illuminating this into someone's face and leaving them out in the cold and in the tennis or energy when it comes to you. Yeah, they're gonna be left out of this happiness when it comes to you. Yep. Let's get back over here where things matter. <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, for your protection. You guys are protected air signs. So you have nothing to worry about. Anybody who tried to wreak havoc on you, 
or bring you down in any way. Um, you know, negative talk when it comes to you. They're, they're being, all of that is being blocked. And anything that they wish for you, the spirit is taking care of them. And this is the spread over here, okay? Yeah, page of pentacles. Back to your money. Back to your money, air signs. <laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. I'm <laughs> just playing. <laughs> I ain't got no sense. <laughs> the emperor, yes. See, your emperor is coming towards you, right? Or you could. Or this is also you in your power with the page of pentacles. But this op, this emperor Aries energy is coming to bring in an offer to you. Yeah, something tangible, something you could um, definitely take away with you. May I dare say a ring with the two of cups being here? This is an offer of love, romance, marriage. Yeah. Yeah, and it's in the upright. This is a burdensome for these, uh, for whoever this is over here. Tower moment, okay? Someone's having a strong tower moment. Now the spirit has stepped in, right? Yep, and they're allowing you uh, to watch this from the sidelines. But you don't care about that. Um, you care about, you know, all things that's good. Page of Pentacles again. Wow, on the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So you're about to get this news that you guys are about to go into your full-blown abundance. You guys are about to get a good payout. Um, and it's going to catapult you forward in the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, when you get the Ace, wow. And then the Ace of Cups flipped over. Woo! Come on with the Aces. I know, that's right. Look at my air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah. Ace of Cups, some of you guys are about to be um, investing in a new romance, marriage, love, overall abundance, and prosperity. For some of you guys, this um this new beginning will also be in the form of a child. Yes, yeah, so congratulations to you if you be um find out that you have become pregnant. Well, uh, congratulations to your new bundle of joy. And for some of y'all, are like for real, child, for real. For some of y'all, not all of y'all. Yes. Queen of Cups, yeah. So somebody has definitely been in hermit mode, thinking about you um, being in this Queen of Cups energy, going into some dear, deep, deep, deep uh, clarity and uh, inner introspect when it comes to you. They see you as wifey material. Queen of Cups energy, very nurturing, loving. This came out in Libra's reading as well. Could be a Libra, could be any of the signs, but this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Someone who's very intuitive as well. Yeah. What's the Three of Cups? They definitely want to come in a celebration with you. And that's for real. Yeah, what is the Spirit? Clarify the Three of Cups. Okay, okay, that's too many. Clarify the Three of Cups, Spirit. Okay, okay, it's the flippers for me. Yeah, who is it? What is it? Yeah, Knight of Wands, the lovers, Four of Wands. I mean, come through with the come through. I mean, come through with the come through. Clarifying the three of cups. You know, this is celebration. Look it up. Yeah, I know what I mean by now. <laughs> three of cups. Celebration. Four of wands. There's my 1111 card, right? Someone who wants to come in and create a family with you. This is a family dynamic here with the four of wands. Could be your twin flame, the lovers in the upright Gemini energy. Look at y'all coming out in your reading. Yes. Knight of wands energy. Sagittarian energy. Very high hot and fiery or whatever this person and first card out chariot they want to be with you this is love on the board yes and they are obsessing devil energy somebody also is upset that you are the star right but someone is um uh, lusting over you as well i'm getting both energies here you do have haters they're right here on the side here i can't make this up mm-hmm this is them. It's being illuminated that they're in heartbreak with the Ten of Swords. Uh, Ten of Swords is a painful ending, right, for someone after learning some really hard spiritual uh, lessons as well as spirits stepping in. And they're having a tower moment because of this change, right? Eight of Swords energy, someone very much stuck in their head and mentally conflicted right now and in confusion how you're getting all this love and abundance and also the love of your life for a lot of you guys here that's watching five of pentacles this is going to leave someone out in the cold yeah and they were probably hoping you would be left out in the cold from this energy and that is just not the case 
Yes, someone is definitely sending you daggers right now with the devil energy. But this is also because this Knight of Wands too. This could be the the Knight of Wands obsessing over you. But I strongly feel too with this devil card on the star. Someone is definitely trying to send you negative energy. It's not. It's not working. It's all the way backfiring. I promise you. That's why this is over here with the Hierophant. Hierophant. This is spirit. A spirit um breaking these people down to size right now. Okay. Don't worry about it, love bugs, okay? Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, someone's definitely traveling towards you. Three of wands, clarifying the three of wands. Yeah, yeah, three of wands, clarifying the three of wands. If traveling was a person, someone is definitely um, uh, planning to, uh, come to come together with you and union and, and do some teamwork, uh, you know, collaborate with you, if you will. That uh, somebody is definitely explaining their travel plans. You may not see this coming towards you. It is a heavy burden also, too, for this person um, to not be with you as well. Mm-hmm. Someone sees you really high on the pedestal here in the Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoever this is, Ten of Wands, it's a heavy burden. Not only for for this emperor who who's coming in, Knight of Wands energy, Sagittarian energy, Aries energy that's coming in for you. I feel like it's this emperor. Could be a Sagittarian who's now in their emperor power, but it's a heavy burden for them not to be with you or whatever. And um, they see you with all these options as well. But this is also other people, multiple people looking at you being this energy and looking at you and watching you from the sideline be stable. Yeah, I'm getting multiple energies here. Take it out, resonates. If this is your story, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sound off in a comment field. Let me know what's going on in your world. Yeah, eight of cups. Yeah. So someone is walking away from abandoning what from abandonment um from what no longer serves them with the eight of cups energy here. Moving away from abandonment. Um, you know, from whatever um this is just not fulfilling them anymore, right? To come towards their nine of pentacles. Give me the nine of pentacles. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Yeah, to put in some hard work, heavy work um, to get this. Yeah, yeah, man. These are some of the same cards that came out in Libra's energy, uh, reading as well. Yeah, yeah, the fool. Uh, Aquarian energy. Yeah, taking that leap of faith. Yeah, mm-hmm. Seven of Cups, clarifying the Seven of Cups. Someone who could have had uh, commitment issues also in the past is now taking a leap of faith forward. And I feel like the com um, the commitment issue uh, wasn't because it was so much that this person had, or uh, your emperor had many suitors or you had many suitors taking out resonates. I feel like it's more so of fear, right? Fear. Fear has been holding someone back. Um, from having um, this love connection with you more than anything, more than any suitor, more um, whether they were with someone or not. I don't feel like it was because for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the player, but I feel like the majority is more so a fear of this connection with you, um, my love buds, the sun. Yeah, something that's definitely been illuminated as well. Leo energies, um, but this is someone coming towards stability, happiness, overall happiness is what this person is um, ultimately wanting with you. And they're getting ready. And I feel like they're um, releasing all of any options that they had in the past as well and coming towards you when it's and you have the sun card twice. The sun card twice. I love when the cards come out in twos, right? Two, 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 because two, two, two represents new beginning. The sun here. Yeah. Yep. Very, very good energy here. Uh, whatever. I'm really in love with the Ace of Cups, uh, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I mean, uh, the Ace of Coins saying, um, same thing, y'all. It, it's just beautiful. This is just beautiful energy. And then not to mention the two of cups clear, carry, uh, carrying <laughs> the two of cups clarifying the chariot card here. Yes. If somebody is coming in, they they're coming in for this love. Ooh, Ooh, y'all ready? Air signs. I love this. This is real beautiful energy. And, um, I really want to know. Yeah. 
Yeah, someone is definitely coming in guarded. Wounded warrior energy, but they coming. Yeah, regardless. Damn, this is coming out twice, y'all. Oof. Yeah, is that the sun card again that just fell? Yep. You got the sun card three times. Damn. You got the sun card three times. How many times I got to show y'all the sun? Wow. Three, three, three. Yes. Listen, sun card. Oh, I mean, when I say this person sees you as complete happiness and wish fulfillment, guarded in all, this person is coming in, in the, as the wounded warrior. I feel like this person who's coming in is, is the wounded warrior. They've been through so many changes in, um, in their lives as so many deep rooted uh, traumatic experiences, right? But with you, uh, my air signs, all they see is the sun. Like you brighten this person's whole everything. And the sun is also very healing, right? Because look at, look, just look how radiant it is. Look how radiant and look how happy she is. This is what this person, this person is coming from the dark, wounded, you know, crawling in, barely making it in, bandage, bandages and all. Um, towards the sun and that's you air signs this is beautiful this is beautiful what else spirit what else for my air signs yeah yeah king of cups they're coming in with this loving energy a open heart is what i'm um was what i'm hearing and energetically feeling someone who's coming in as a supportive leader in your life, someone who's going to nurture you and reciprocate the love back to you finally, you know, and give you some um, nurturing and loving healing as well. And I feel like you guys are going to heal together. This is gorgeous energy. I love it. What else, Spirit? Give me one more. Yeah. After heartbreak. Yeah. Three of Swords. This person was so heartbroken to be away from you. Yeah, feeling left out in the cold. Yes, but regardless of anything, yeah, in their head, stuck, um, stuck in their head, mental and, and mental chaos and confusion about moving forward. But it's gonna happen. Seven of Pentacles here. Fear, fear is here, very strong. Fearing that what they've um planted and the seeds that they sown uh won't grow, but they are. You know that energy, you know, for some, and for some of you guys, five of pentacles, eight of swords, seven of pentacles, you know, it's just really the energy of you reap what you sow. This is also too, I feel like this is karmic energy on the bottom as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, nine of swords. It, absolutely it is. Yes. Yeah, somebody um, very stressed out about you having this connection with the king of cups. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got a king and a queen on the board. That's definitely a pair. This is a loving pair. Mm -hmm. Somebody um, in your energy is being left out in the cold and mental conflict. Yep. Oh, yeah. And deep regret. Yeah. Mm hmm. And deep regret. Five of swords here. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. A king of pentacles and justice yeah so justice is uh being brought uh being rained down right now libra energy here yeah so you guys are getting your ju your justice you're gonna have many options of whatever when it comes to um um the abundance in your life okay seven of cups is um you know and this could also too be from someone I'm making wrong choices in the past as well. But there's there's slow moving energy here. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. And um but, but someone is coming to fight for this. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Someone the, the, whoever your person is, this emperor is coming to fight for this. They've been slow to move, but they're coming and they're overcoming obstacles and challenges to do it. Five of Wands. Yep. Because now they're seeing things in a new and different perspective. Hangman energy here off the top yeah going back and forth in their head juggling their thoughts yeah but at the end of the day your wish fulfillment again the star card energy aquarian energy here yeah traveling towards you two of wands they're coming regardless yeah yeah queen of cups yeah
Mm -hmm. And on the bottom, the magician manifesting you all the way in. Absolutely. Okay. So this is good energy. Okay. Um, it's like you guys have energies, a lot of jealous energies around you. Okay. It's this is not just the energy of your emperor. Um, that's coming in Knight of Wands energy as well. Um, that's coming in very hot and passionate for you. But this is also energy that's the spirit is giving you um a few sides of the spectrum because there are people who are wishing against this connection that um, wanted to see you fail. Not just in this connection, but in your overall abundance. And what's happening is air signs, you're getting everything. Everything that anyone tried to take from you, has taken from you, or has wished away for you is coming back a hundredfold. And I mean that a hundredfold. And the the love that's um, surrounding you um, when it comes to um, your forward movement is on pro it was it's 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 profound it's it's like it's like one of those I, I said un but I wanted to say like something has never been seen before like never before seen footage of this much love this is what these negative haters and naysayers are about to witness and they're going to be left out in the cold and in this stuck energy with the eight of swords um being here okay someone is definitely manifesting you in either you or them or both of you guys to get how it resonates uh flipping you know flip the stories that they as they you know meet your storyline but this is what's going on for your uh full-blown direct mercury retrograde in libra air signs this is all i have for you i hope it resonates and i hope um it's giving you some type of clarity to what's coming ahead um to help you mentally prepare um but honestly this love and abundance that's coming towards you and all this money because lots of pinnacles on the board here is something you'll never be prepared for or ready for it's it's like almost unreal okay that's what i want to say with that un it's like almost unreal it's almost unreal it's like pinch me but it's it's, it's real it's real i love you guys so much i see you guys on your next read loves bye